Tomorrow, I have the privilege of ordaining to the transitional diaconate David Drusinski and Anthony Kirsting, two of our seminarians, well prepared and ready to uh, surrender their lives to the service of the Lord in the mystery of the priesthood. And so, ordination of the diaconate is the final step before the ordination of the priesthood next year. If you've read their comments in the Catholic Herald last week, what struck me about their comments is they both focused on humility, on their unworthiness to be a priest, uh, to serve the church in such a way. And I thought that's exactly the right tone. I'd be suspicious of someone who said, I am worthy of being a priest. I'm glad the church finally discovered my talents and is putting them to use. So I always approach the call that we've received with a sense that we don't have what it takes to do this, that we need to rely on the Lord, that it, it's God's power and grace that's going to affect in us uh, what the Lord wants to accomplish through us. And you see that throughout the scriptures. I've reflected on this often before, how often God chooses the seemingly most unqualified. So Abraham and Sarah are too old to have children. Moses stutters. David is so young, he's not even at the feast when Samuel the prophet comes to Jesse's house to anoint one of his sons as king. Mary is a virgin, Saul persecutes the church, and yet God chooses those people to do something that seems not only unlikely, but even humanly impossible. And so it's not our gifts, our talents, our worthiness that attracts the Lord's attention. It's really our docility to his will, our, our willingness to be uh, used by him in a grace-filled way to affect uh, salvation. And so the scriptures are filled with people like that. So are the roles of the saints. And I'm encouraged that our two new transitional deacons follow in that great tradition and articulate humility as such a foundational virtue. I think humility is holding two things in tension. On the one hand, it's realizing our greatness, that God has given us a soul. We are made in his image and likeness. We are going to live forever. And if we underestimate our greatness, we fall into despair. But coupled with our greatness is the fact that we're nothing without God. So to acknowledge our dependence, our contingency, that my next breath, my next heartbeat is only possible if it's willed by God. Think of on Ash Wednesday when we go forward and are marked with ashes and reminded of our mortality. If I forget my nothingness, I fall into pride. So humility is holding together our greatness, our nothingness, and realizing all of it depends on God. And we can simply surrender our lives to him and trust that he will use us. That's what will happen when David and Anthony lay down on the floor during the Litany of Saints and give themselves to Christ in this beautiful ordination rite. And they will rise from that mass of uh, deacons set loose in the church to do tremendous good in their preparation for the priesthood. Congratulations to both of them. Please pray with me for their fruitfulness and for their sanctity.